Welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by HELPS. It's designed to assist you in understanding how critical thinking skills can be applied to academic reading and writing. At university, critical thinking is an extremely important skill to cultivate and develop. This is because it is all about asking questions, then analyzing and making evaluations or judgments based on the information presented. It's considered a fundamental part of scholarly studies. University students are expected to adopt this critical approach. Critical thinking is a skill which can be challenging for students to do because it involves questioning, questioning ideas, theories, assumptions, or the validity of information. However, it is this healthy skepticism that is encouraged in an academic context. Through critical thinking, the student can demonstrate that they have given full consideration about the topic. This is what lecturers want and expect from their students. Critical thinking can be approached in three simple steps. Firstly, by analyzing, asking questions of the material you're studying or researching. Secondly, by making judgments or evaluations. The reason you do this is to then finally develop your own position or argument based on your readings, lectures, tutorials, and extensive research. Different disciplines may have different approaches to critical thinking, but all disciplines require you to relate theory to practice, ask questions, find and use evidence, evaluate the arguments, find links between the arguments, and categorize the main lines of thinking. Reading at university can be a daunting task. It's a great idea to think about the main points of a text and consider how you might put them into your own words. Think about bias, schools of thought, or even information that you feel is missing or irrelevant. Ensure you understand the stages of the argument and check that it's logical. Ask yourself if the ideas presented are supported by reliable evidence. Are there connections between what you see and other texts you've read? What are the wider implications? And most importantly, state whether you agree or disagree with the arguments presented. When you take notes, divide your notepad into two columns. Jot down the main ideas in the left-hand column and the supporting comments in the right-hand column. Add your own comments in another color or in brackets. Talk to other people about what you've read. Relate and compare the text to others by looking for similar or contrasting themes. Think of how you might explain what the text means to a general educated reader. What would you have to add to make it intelligible? Think about whether it's possible to disagree with any of the arguments. And think about how you can convince your reader. Critical thinking applies to writing too. In order to improve the standard of our writing, we need to think about what the lecturer is looking for. We need to work out what sort of critical thinking will be involved. Comparing, problem solving, looking for cause and effect, or evaluating. We also need to make sure that everything we say is backed up by sufficient evidence and references. We need to link what we're saying into the overall field of the discipline and think about why this essay topic is worth writing about, what makes it particularly significant. Most importantly, we need to look at different sides of an argument. Let's recap the key points discussed in this video. For your writing to be critical in the broader sense, it should categorize the issues or arguments involved. It should establish cause and effect relationships and make comparisons and contrasts. It should also point out problems and suggest solutions. And ultimately, it must evaluate theories and relate them to practice. Your writing must be rational, balanced, well argued and based on evidence, examples and extensive reading using a wide range of literature. It must be insightful, 
and thought-provoking. The skills that you develop at university in critical thinking will support you in your future professional lives. That's because professionals are always being asked to make decisions based on evaluating information, processes and outcomes, and to continually reflect on their practice. If you need help with your academic studies or assistance at any stage of completing your assignments, you can access the services at the HELPS unit at UTS. For details on our location, operating hours, services and programs, including a wealth of self-help resources, visit us in person or online. We're at your service. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening.